What's up you guys, Tech Checker here, and I've got a really awesome unboxing. At least I think it's really awesome. Couple of housekeeping tips before we get started though. Two of them. Number one, I've been having issues with my phone camera. For whatever reason, when I have it in uh, selfie mode so that I can see what's going on, it records for a while and then pfft, it just shuts down. So, hopefully that doesn't mess things up. Two! I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, that's why I'm a little stuffed up sounding. I'm trying to not be too stuffed up. I have been coughing a lot, a lot. It's so annoying. So there's probably gonna be a lot of cut shots in here so that you don't have to listen to me <coughs> hacking the whole time. We're gonna try and do this fairly quick. I am super excited about this unboxing. This is kind of a big change to my channel. Not a huge change in terms of what everybody else might see or the content, but it's huge to me. It's something that I've really wanted to do for a long time, but didn't have the money. So, what's that mean? It means tech. Let's get going. Okay, let's just jump right on into this before my camera dies. So obviously I got this off of Amazon because Amazon seems to be the best for most everything. There was a cut shot. Had to go, had to go cough. <clears throat> Alrighty, so number one, super exciting to everybody. Not really. It's a 64 gig memory card. Now you're probably thinking, okay, I already know what tech got. But that's number one. Not super interesting. Number two is tissue paper. No. Number two is a gorilla pod. Um, flexible tripod, obviously, for a camera. I think the cat might be out of the bag now. Right? No? Because it's, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. So I have to say, I gotta thank um, Josh Pence for the recommendation of this particular model. Um, I had bought, and actually my phone is sitting on, a different Gorillapod right now that's, I forget what model it is, the 325, something like that. Um, meant for cell phones, obviously. But this one's slightly bigger, a little bit uh, beefier, and this is the Zoom. This one he recommended and I'm actually pretty stoked about this. Here's the question. Should I review it as a hardware review? I don't, I haven't really done hardware reviews. I don't get a lot of hardware, but maybe I'll do a review. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should review this, and then I will. All right, made it through that. We had another cut shot because more coughing. Probably don't need to mention it, right? Whatever. Next up, the big kahuna. Yeah, let's just pop this sucker open. Because I'm super excited. So excited. You already know what I got, but you don't know exactly what I got, right? Right. Okay, okay. What do we got? We got Angel's phone. Cool. We got Kai. box. Okay, so this is the Canon EOS M50. It's a mirrorless camera, but it's, um, let's just open it up. So this is, they call this the video creator kit. I'm going to link to it in the description below. I'm going to link to, rink, I'm going to rink to everything. I'm going to link to everything that I bought. If you're interested, you know, go check it out. Um, oh, oh yeah. So this is the video creator kit. So it's more than just the camera. It comes with another uh, card. This is a 32 gig. So you remember I bought the 64 gig. The reason I got the 64 gig, I'll explain a little bit further later, but this is a 95 megabits per second card. This is an 80. So obviously a little bit slower write time to this card, I wanted something faster. I'll explain in a moment. 
let's crack this thing open a little bit more. Here we go. So, like I said, this is the one of the many creator kits that they have available. And what it comes with is the, oh, that's ripped a little bit, but it is the Rode Video Mic Go. It is a, what do they call it, a passive power uh, mic, directional, kind of a boom mic that goes into the hot shoe of, obviously, the camera. Hopefully, it'll give me a little bit better video, video quality, audio quality. This was included. Normally, this is like, I think, 50 to 75 bucks. These are normally 15 to 20 bucks. Essentially, I got the two of them for an extra 50 bucks. So, couldn't go wrong with that. And if I get better audio quality, that'll be awesome. But here it is, the creme de la creme, all that major boxing equipment stuff. And just a tiny little box. Tiny little box. The Canon EOS M50. This is a relatively new model for Canon of a um, mirrorless camera. It has come very highly recommended by some of the big vloggers for what you might consider getting started equipment. I consider myself, myself, myself still getting started with vlogging, YouTubing, all of that. So I was originally going to get the Canon EOS D, uh, 80D, but the amount of money that I would have had to spend was still going to be between two and $400 more than I really wanted to spend. So we're starting off with this guy. We're going to see because I'm assuming this is just going to make my videos perfect. And um, it's going to make the content better. The content of what I say will be better. Um, right? That's what new equipment does, right? All right, so we got user manual. This thing is giant. Luckily, it's like three languages. Good. I don't need to read that much then. Awesome. Must be warranty kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, we'll get into that later. But bam! Ah, we got a battery charger. Let's check this out. Is there a cord? Oh, cool. Look at that. Okay. This just pops right out. That's kind of neat. Only thing that I guess would be annoying is uh, if you don't want it plugged like right up against the wall. I don't know. I don't know if that matters. Whatever. I think it's cool. All right, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this, the actual camera body. I am so excited. So the other reason that I, that I kind of decided to go with this camera as opposed to the D or the 80D is its size. This thing is tiny, tiny. And I, I didn't realize just how small it was going to be. That's what she said. I'm kind of, I'm pretty stoked about that. So this kit also comes with the standard EFM lens. That was the other reason why I wanted to go with the M50 is it has the ability to give you replaceable lenses or you can replace the lens which is kind of cool. It's kind of the best of both worlds a little bit from what I've been reading is you get all the manual uh, DSLR capabilities in a mirrorless camera. I know that the mirrorless are not as high a quality, not as desired as the DSLR mirrored, but for the money, being able to Swap out lenses is kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal, right? So this is a 15 45 millimeter, pretty much standard um, lens. I don't know why I can't think of the word. But the cool thing, the one thing that I absolutely needed to have with this camera was a flip out LCD. Reason being, more often than not, 
I'm doing. I'm recording this way. I'm recording myself. So selfish. But I want to be able to see myself. Because the worst thing is, is if I want to do anything with this phone, especially with my phone, is using the selfie mode. That's that's fine, except it's been shutting off on me when I do selfie mode. So having this now with this should allow me to have much better experience. Let's see. Oh, good. It fits. And the cool thing about this uh, Joby Gorillapod Zoom is it has a level on it. And that's one of the reasons why I, I also went with this one. Now, technically, the it's this extra piece with the ball joint that gives you the uh, the level. But I wanted to have a level because with these bendable legs, you never really know when you're level. So, how cool is it? I've pretty much got the setup of a vlogger. How cool. All right, let's crack this guy open. Now, I've, I've seen mixed reviews on this particular microphone. Now, most people, it seems from what I understand, the industry standard is Rode mics. But most people recommend going with the uh, Rode, uh, it's like a pro version, which is somewhere between, I think it's around 200, 220 bucks. Why won't you open? I was not willing to spend 200 some bucks on a mic. So I figured let's give this a shot and see, because if it works better than what I've got, you know, awesome. So here it is. I've seen some reviews of people saying that they really like this mounting system um, because it really reduces the amount of vibration noise because uh, instead of like the Pro, version has rubber bands and sometimes those break and they fall off so some folks prefer this method others do not that's okay so the cool thing is is this pop that out goes right into the hot shoe i'm using all these terms it's so cool pop that in is there something that holds it in place i don't want that thing sliding out falling off. We've got the little cable, the audio cable. That was the other thing that um, really drew me to this particular camera is it also allows for an external microphone jack, which not all, especially your lower, uh, lower cost phones, they don't, phones, uh, cameras don't allow for an external microphone and this one does so i've got a pretty sweet little setup now how cool is that pop this sucker out and ba bam look at that i'll be looking like a freak like everybody else does now walking through my stores assuming that i'll use this in the stores and not just my cell phone because let's just be honest still a little awkward to be walking around like this so here's the question that I have for you guys. Do you want me to review this camera at some point? Now, I am not a fan of reviewing equipment, and I'm also not a fan of reviewing equipment if I haven't used it. So if I review this, I want to get a couple of weeks worth of, of just footage under my belt using it. So let me know. Is this something that uh, you would find interesting for me to review? Should I review the microphone? Should I review uh, this? I'm thinking I might, but we'll see. I almost forgot uh, there was a reason that I was that I got this specific card, and it wasn't just because I wanted to have a 64 gig, although that was a big reason. Uh, the camera, the Canon M50, allows you to do 4K. And with doing 4K, you need to be able to have... Ah, let's try not to stab myself. Uh, you need to have fast write capability. And originally, when I was looking at the, um, the, the Creator Kit, uh, it had what I thought to be a 40 megs per second card, which is really slow. Really slow. 
So I got one that's 95. It was the highest speed that I could get. So this is a, what, an SDXC card. And it really just means, you know, XC means that it's 64 gigs, or it can be the higher capacity. So 32, I won't get into that. Anyway, let's pop this sucker in because I want to at least take one picture while we're here. Right? I'll take a picture of you guys. Should I take a picture of you guys? Push and hold the lens. Oh, yes. Forgot about that. I need to put the lens into record mode so that it's on. I'm so excited. You guys don't need to see this. You just need to see that I'm taking a picture. Oh, well, that's an interesting thing. So in order to flip this around, you have to take that out. Interesting information. Something that we all need to know. All right, let's pop that back in. Let's go to full auto. Say cheese. Alrighty, folks, there you have it. We're gonna try recording off of my brand new camera. Maybe it'll be a better quality, maybe it won't. We'll see as I uh, learn how this all works. But I'm super excited. Obviously, this means that my, uh, my channel's gonna be upgraded just a little bit. That means I'm hopefully gonna put a little bit more effort into what I put out for you. So stay tuned for a lot more really cool stuff, you know? I'm really just trying to get better at all of this and sometimes the equipment really gets in the way. A lot of people will say it's not about the equipment. I know that, but sometimes having nicer equipment is still kinda nice. So. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.